discussing culture in this video. So what is culture? Culture is essentially all the shared products of human societies such as customs, skills, and language. Culture then is a system of meaning in society. There is material culture which consists of tangible artifacts and non-material culture which consists of intangibles such as values, beliefs, and customs. Culture is shared through symbols of which language is the foundation. So what are the functions of language? The functions of language are human beings being able to create a time and space dimension of knowledge, past, present, and future. We are able to coordinate activities. We can learn how other people think and feel. Words can become symbols. Words can express abstract ideas. Language can allow us to imagine things that no one has ever heard of or seen before. Culture can also be spread through nonverbal communication. Nonverbal communication can mean different things in different cultures. For example, the OK gesture means money in Japan. In France, it means worthlessness. And in Brazil, it is equivalent to giving the American middle finger. When culture is spread from one group to another, it is called cultural diffusion. When there are differences in culture, culture shock may occur. Culture shock is the experience of disorientation and confusion that one feels when confronted with a different culture. There are four main stages of culture shock. Euphoria, frustration and depression, joking, full or near recovery. An example of culture shock is say you are Ameri an American and you go on vacation to Italy. When you arrive, you are enthralled with the beautiful beaches and exotic environment. A few days pass and you struggle to communicate since you know little Italian. You are also confused by their customs such as the use of body language. You often offend the locals with your body language and cannot interpret theirs well. This may cause frustration and depression. You may start to find these differences in culture funny and formulate jokes to cope. After a while, you may start to understand the culture or fully be content with it. Culture shock can be more intense the more ethnocentric one is. Ethnocentrism is the attitude that one's culture is the greatest and all others are inferior. That is to say, it equates different with inferior. The cure for culture shock is being culturally relativistic. Cultural relativism is the worth of anything, being laws, values, or customs, only being evaluated in the terms of the culture it is a part of. An example of this, of being ethnocentrist, is say I am a foreigner visiting America from a non-bathing culture. It is easy for me to see how ridiculous Americans are in respect to bathing. They replace all their natural oils with harsh artificial chemicals to merely not smell. In doing this, they kill off the beneficial bacterial ecosystem that lies on them. If I'm being culturally relativistic, I would say, although I do not bathe regularly like Americans do, it is easy for me to understand why they do. With so much clean water available to them, it is understandable why, they lo why those who can do take showers. It is also thought in their culture that dirty is equivalent to being poor. So in an effort not to appear poor, they comply with the social norm of showering regularly.
The Ecological Approach The ecological approach to culture is concerned with the total physical and social total physical and social environment. That is to say that it studies the geography, climate, weather, and how cultural elements fit into the physical scene. An example of this can be found in the Southwest Native Americans. Due to, dr due to the dry climate, in times of drought, the Native Americans developed the rain dance. The environment contributed greatly to this cultural element. When one studies culture, one tends to s discover a gap between ideal and real culture. Ideal culture is what we claim to believe in in a society. Real culture is what we really do in society. Examples. In American culture, we claim to believe that one is innocent until proven guilty, but we tend to assume guilt when one is arrested. Americans believe in freedom of speech, yet their speech is limited for they cannot say such speech that defames, is disturbingly loud, threatens, incites unlawful conduct, obstructs justice, and harasses. Within culture, there are many norms. Norms are the standards of behavior to which members of a social group are expected to conform. Norms tell us how to act and provides us with the expectations of how others will act. Norms tend to arise out of and reflect the cultural values of society. Although norms are not laws themselves, laws tend to be based on them. Failure to adhere to the norms will most often lead to negative sanctions. When norms conflict, a hierarchy of norms becomes more apparent. That is to say, in certain situations, some norms supersede others. For example, say you are driving a car and a child jumps out in front of you. You have little time to respond so you either hit a concrete wall or the child. You decide to hit the wall. Why? In this example, it is not a norm to hit a wall or a child, but the norm of not killing children takes precedent over not wrecking your car by hitting a wall. There are different types of norms such as folkways and mores. Folkways are those norms having to do with e etiquette or manners. For example, saying excuse me when belching or saying please when you ask someone to do something. Mores are norms cloaked in morality but most often are backed by laws. Some things that are not mores are incest, rape, and murder. Within the larger culture, there are many subcultures. Subculture is the subset of larger culture, may have different norms. Some regional, occupational, ethnic, and religious subcultures are examples. Counterculture opposes the larger culture. Members of it construct principles clearly against the larger culture. An example is the Ku Klux Klan advocates racial violence. Countercultural cut across various cult subcultures, for example, members of the KKK tend to be from the South, are white, and claim to be Christian. Well, that is all. If you like this video, please rate, comment, and subscribe.